Welcome to the second part of the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 4, where we will now create the main components in the basement. What exactly awaits you in this lesson? In the second part of Lesson 4, we will create the exterior basement walls, the supporting floor slab, and the ceiling above the basement in 3D. All Plan users need about 60 seconds to do this with our specific project data in practice, but in this video, we will take a little more time again. To do this, now open the building structure, enable the drawing file 111 basement practice drawing file, and ensure that the drawing file 501 is active in the background, that is, that it's yellow. Exit the building structure with close. Since the drawing file 111 is now active, I can also see this here in the drawing file of all plan, we can start with the entry of the first walls in the basement. For the quick start, I have considered what the most important components and elements should look like and have put these in a wizard for you. Hold the mouse over the wizard palette and in the palette at the upper edge, select the group All Plan Quick Start. Clicking here, I pin the palette, hold the mouse over the prepared basement walls and scroll closer to them. By double-clicking with the right mouse key on the first basement wall, I start the wall function and All Plan immediately also takes care of all properties of the prepared wall in this procedure so that I can fully focus on drawing this wall in the plan. Since the basement is to be created in this area, I zoom closer with the scroll wheel select the left lower corner highlighted in green as the start point and use the left mouse key to click on it. Whenever I now move the mouse, I see a preview of the wall in the crosshairs. Clicking on reverse, I could reverse the arrangement of the two wall layers and thus begin to create the wall to the right if this were necessary for some reason. However, I click on reverse again so that the thinner of the two layers, the insulation faces outwards to the left. I zoom out slightly and zoom back in over the upper point and click on the desired corner with the left mouse key again. You will notice that drawing a wall in all plan is as easy as drawing a line. When you move the mouse again, you will see that the wall is still in the crosshairs and waiting to be drawn further. I do this by moving to the next corner at the upper right, zoom close enough to find the inner corner and also click on this again with the left mouse key. The exterior walls are not finished yet, but I would nevertheless now like to have a live 3D representation in addition to the representation in plan. It's a breeze in all plan. To do this, while the wall function is still active, I simply click on the window control and there I click on 2 plus 1 animation window. Now 3 instead of just 1 design window is opened and everything that I am now doing is happening live in all 3 windows. In the plan, I zoom to the right lower inside corner and left click on this so I can see that this wall also immediately appears in the so-called animation window. To finish, I zoom out once again briefly and back in over the left lower point and left click on the start point from before. Then I exit the wall function by pressing the escape key on the keyboard. We now no longer need the site plan since we have created the basement walls in the correct location. So we open the building structure, remove the check mark in our import structural level and exit with close. In the plan, I would like to view the entire plan and so I click on zoom all. In all three windows, I now see my four exterior walls and when I click one of the walls in a window, then this wall is also highlighted in all other windows. To clear the selection, I simply click anywhere in the background of the drawing files or press escape. The design windows in all plan are flexible. You can simply grab, click and hold the mouse key and pull them in your respective drawing. This allows you to quickly change the arrangement or pull one or more windows from all plan to another screen and then put them back again.
To look at the walls in the animation window more closely, here are some tips for you about this important window. Simply click anywhere in the animation window with the mouse, keep the mouse key pressed and move the mouse, the model will move. Or even better, as the viewer, you move in the direction in which you move the mouse. Of course, in reality, the model always remains in the correct position exactly where you have drawn it. You can move the mouse up and down in the process. The zoom works just like in the plan. Hold the mouse over a point and use the scroll wheel. And the moving also works the same in all windows. Press the middle mouse key, keep it pressed and move the mouse. It's now best for you to take a little time to try out these three movements briefly. Turn, zoom and move. You may have noticed that my crosshairs look different in all plan than yours. All plan can be customized in many places, just like with the crosshairs. When I access a function, for example the text function, my crosshairs are shown medium in size. The appearance of the crosshairs can be set in the all plan options. I open this here, go to the mouse and crosshairs category and can now set here that the crosshairs always look the same throughout the entire width of a design window. I will leave it as my desired setting and close options by pressing cancel. In the quick start lessons, we will always create a couple of selected components per story. I will now complete the rest for you. In the case of the basement, we will now quickly create the supporting floor slab and the ceiling above the basement. For this purpose, I load the original 2 plus 1 animation window representation again and open the building structure. I open the story here foundations and switch the drawing file 101 foundations practice drawing file to be active. This ensures that the floor slab is created neatly on the correct drawing file and the height settings existing in this drawing file are applied to the floor slab. You can find more information about the height settings in all plan in the further course of the quick start project. We now exit the building structure with close, go back to the quick start wizard and there we look for the prepared supporting floor slab. In the wizard, you move just like in the plan. By scrolling the mouse wheel, you zoom in and out, and you can move the entire contents by holding down the middle mouse key. Just like we did with the wall, we now right double click on the floor slab, and all plan again starts the corresponding function and adopts all properties of the clicked component. This method works with almost all components in AllPlan, and it works both in the wizard as well as in the plan or a view. This method, that is right double-clicking on an existing element, is used to create new elements extremely easily and very quickly. I go back to the representation in plan, zoom to the left lower corner and left click on the outer corner of the inner supporting wall layer to begin. I then move to the upper right corner and also left click here. This gives all plan the information about the diagonal of my desired floor slab geometry and I complete the entry of the floor slab by pressing escape. Since I do not want to create any other floor slab, I click on Escape again and exit the entire function. A look into the animation window shows the newly created floor slab. The ceiling above the basement is created just as quickly. I open the building structure, switch the corresponding drawing file 116 basement ceiling practice drawing file to be active, that is red, complete this by clicking close and go back to the wizard palette. There I find the prepared ceiling above the basement, ensure that I right-click with the mouse on the basement ceiling and not on the breakthrough, and in the plan left-click with the mouse on the first corner of the ceiling. I move to the diagonally opposite corner, left-click on it, complete this ceiling entry by pressing Escape, 
and also exit the function by pressing escape. We have therefore created all of the practice components in the basement and maximized the animation window so that we can get a better look at the components. To finish, let's take a look at the basement, how it could look later and load the missing components that I have created for you. We open the building structure and instead of switching on all of the necessary drawing files manually, we right-click with the mouse in the white background, select Load Favorite and double-click on the file Lesson 4 Finished Basement.xml. Some of the drawing files that I previously compiled will be loaded and we close the building structure. If you like, you can now look at the basement in the animation window at your own pace. By the way, I don't want to display the edges in the model in the animation window, so I click on the animation display mode and on the blue pen behind animation, which takes me to the settings of the animation representation. I simply uncheck the box for edges and exit this by clicking close.